Planet Dolan. What thing in your kitchen right now is actually equipped to withstand an EMP attack? How many things add tiny little holes to them to potentially save your life? His 15 everyday things and their functions you may not have known about. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. Have you noticed the caps of pens have tiny hole in them? You ever wonder what that hole's for? Lots of people think it's to reduce air pressure buildup when you're putting the cap back on. And it does help with that, but the real reason that hole is there is to reduce choking deaths. If you accidentally swallow one of the caps, the hole keeps it from blocking the airway completely. Number 14. Next time you're in a car, look for a little arrow pointing left or right in your fuel gauge. You've likely never even noticed it's there, but now you have a perfect way to remember which side of the car you fill your gas tank on. And trust me, it's been useful for me quite a bit actually lately. Number 13. On your standard QWERTY keyboard, there are five little bumps on the F and J keys. In traditional 10 finger typing, those are the keys your index fingers are supposed to rest on. The bumps are there to let you know that your fingers are in the right place without even having to look. Number 12. The little metal tab on the end of your tape measure is small but multi-featured. First off, it has a hole in it to make it easier to hook onto nails and screws if necessary. It also has a little serrated tip so that you can make a measurement mark with one hand. Number 11. You may never have even noticed, but there is a little plastic disc sitting inside many plastic bottle caps. Take it out, the bottle still closes fine. So what's actually doing there? It's actually a liner that acts as an air seal to hold in carbonation. Took it out and closed the bottle, any carbonated beverage will go flat in no time. Or you can poke a little hole in it, stretch it out and then wear it on your wrist like every other teenager. Number 10. When you're looking at an airplane window, you're actually looking through three window panes. If you've seen a tiny hole in your window, don't worry, it only goes through two of the three panes. Its job is to ensure that only the outer plane of glass, the toughest one, bears the brunt of the cabin pressure difference. That way, even if the outer pane ruptures for any reason, you still have two panes protecting you, rather than all three of them breaking at once. Sure, there's a small hole in those last two panes, but it's small enough so that the cabin will stay pressurized. Number 9. You've likely never driven off with a gas pump still hanging out of your car, but somebody, somewhere, definitely has. It's actually happened often enough for gas stations to come up with a countermeasure. Most gas pumps now have magnetic breakaways so that you can detach from the pump, limiting the damage rather than just ripping out the whole thing. Number 8. Sometimes you just need to get a little more leverage to twist out a troublesome screw. That's why a number of screwdrivers are shaped in such a way that you can lock onto them with a wrench and twist them that way. Don't do this every time though, it's really not good for the screwdriver, but it can help with some of the more difficult spots. Number 7. You know how that metal mesh covers the front of your microwave? That's not just a fun design, that's a shielding mechanism that makes the inside of your microwave something called a Faraday cage. This keeps the energy in the microwave from escaping and melting your eyeballs. Faraday cages are also known to resist EMP attacks on electronics in case some kind of cyber war breaks out in your hometown. The Faraday shielding keeps outside signals of any kind from getting in. If you set your cell phone inside a microwave, it will most likely lose signal. Disclaimer, don't actually start the microwave with your phone in it. Unlike gas pumps, there's no magnetic breakaway to stop you from being stupid. It will just explode and kill you. Number 6. The blue part of the eraser is the stuff of legends. Supposedly, it could erase pen ink. Many tried. All just tore the shit out of their paper. That's because the blue side of the eraser isn't for pens, it's actually for thicker, high quality paper. Because it takes more off the paper with less effort. It's a great tool for artists, less so for students with cheap ass spiral bound notebooks. On thick paper, it's actually possible to erase ink with it, but it's not consistent. It's technically still for pencil marks. Number 5. Childproof caps are important to make sure your kindergartner doesn't mistake those little blue pills for candy. But if there aren't any kids in the house, you're really just making things harder on yourself for no reason. That's why some prescription bottles have simple threaded screw tops on the opposite side of the cap. Number 4. When you drive at night, you'll see little white reflectors on the road marking the lanes. Hopefully you've never learned this from experience, but if you drive down the road going the wrong way, those white reflectors look red. That might make you stop and think, but if you're already going down the wrong side of the road, you might be too far gone to notice. Number 3. You ever wonder how much pasta you ought to make at a time? 
Or do you pretty much just throw the whole damn box in at once? If you have a plastic pasta spoon, stick some spaghetti through the hole in the middle of it. That's how much you ought to make for one person. If you're making elbow noodles, just measure it out in a measuring cup. Number two. In the bottom of a padlock, there's a tiny little pinhole with no apparent purpose. That's actually there to let water drain out instead of pulling inside. If water were to build up inside the lock and then freeze, it would most likely destroy the locking mechanism. In some designs, it can actually be used to oil the interior of the lock to loosen it up. Number one. If you have a MacBook, you've likely noticed the little plastic wings on the side of the power block. Those are there to let you neatly wrap up the power cord in a way that won't slip off and tangle. Or you can just keep throwing it in your bag as is, because who has time for that? So guys, what's an everyday thing that you know has an incredible use that no one else knows about? Let us know in the comment section down below, pin our favourite to the top. That is it for this countdown, have a good one!